I think music comes from everywhere. It comes from uh, years ago, Charlie Parker, he used to carry uh, Mozart's music around. When you heard Charlie Parker in the early days, when he would play those glisses and groups of eights and groups of nine, that started to arrive from uh, the classical music. And Jimmy Heath and Train, they used to go down to the library and listen to Stavinsky and all of these great classical c composers. So when you said where music come from, I think at first, it was first played in Africa, South Africa. The Nomos and the Dihomis, they used to dance. Uh, in fact, that's how they would communicate with one another, the drum. The drum was the first, like, the first instrument. Africa, like, used to, used to uh, deliver messages with the drum. And I experienced the Nomos, the Dihomis, and the Montus. They would come together annually, and the Montus, they would dance for two or three days without water, without food, anything, until they just, in other words, they would dance until they, they would just fall out. The whole premise was to dance to get all of the impurities out your body. The Montus, they would look at the sun all day. I mean, uh, they, would, they would look at the sun all day. Uh, and then you had the ones that who would, who would come together and just talk without food or without water. So this philosophy was to take all of the impurities out your body. You was, you was not going to eat any food for two or three days. So I think music would really derive from the drums and some of the classical musicians as well as, but then also there was Scott Joplin and Benny Bowling uh, uh, was, was, was very instrumental in bringing contemporary music to the forefront. So I think it comes from many things. I think the, the drums, uh, classical music, also there were some uh, musicians who just created from their own shoe strings. <laughs> 